folks, and welcome to In the Kitchen with Pete. This week's simple and delicious recipe is stuffed chicken. I'm going to be using some boneless, skinless chicken, a couple of different types of cheese, some fresh herbs and seasonings. It's going to be delicious. Let's get to it. Let's get to the stuffing for the chicken. I'm using three types of cheese. I bought it in a bag. It's got Parmesan, provolone, and Asiago cheese mixture, already all shredded up. We'll add a half a cup of that. And then next, we'll add a half a cup of cream cheese. Then we'll add some sun-dried tomatoes. They come in a jar packed in oil. I'll take four of those out and chop those up finely. Run through those a couple of times with your knife so we don't get any large chunks in our filling. Next we'll add some spinach. Just roll them up into a little bundle and it makes it easy to finely dice them. And then some fresh basil, four leaves, roll them up the same way and finely dice them. And we'll add one spring onion, finely diced. Now we'll add two teaspoons of Italian seasoning, a teaspoon of granulated garlic powder, and a pinch of salt and pepper to taste. Give that a good mix. There's enough stuffing here for four chicken breasts, and then we'll set that aside. So we'll be using boneless, skinless chicken breasts. On the back there, you'll see a little piece. We're gonna cut that off. That's the filet. Many uses for that, put that aside or freeze it. Great in stir fries or chicken fingers. That'll be in the way when we flatten out our chicken breasts. So we'll remove that. Now to flatten out our chicken breasts, we're gonna need a heavy Ziploc freezer bag. Place your chicken breast in there. Now if you have a meat tenderizer, use a flat side, or I like to use this big rubber mallet. It just covers a lot of area and you can gently tap it until it's about a quarter of an inch thick. You can also use the bottom of a pot. Now just lay your chicken out, put a couple of tablespoons of filling, avoiding about one inch around the outside edges, and then we'll roll that up. There's no need to use any toothpicks or tying it up. We we'll just put it into a greased oven safe dish with the seam side down. Brush the top of the chicken breast with a little bit of olive oil. That'll help brown it up. And then season with a little bit of salt and pepper. Into a 425 degree preheated oven, 25 to 30 minutes until it's 165 degrees internal temperature. Now let's put together a delicious sauce that we can drizzle over the top of our chicken. In a pan on about a low to medium heat we're going to melt two tablespoons of butter. To that we'll add two cloves of fresh garlic finely diced, one spring onion finely diced, and then we'll add a half a cup of cream cheese, one half cup of freshly grated Parmesan cheese, and then we'll add one cup of half and half cream. Using a whisk, mix that up well. Now we'll add a half a teaspoon of Italian seasoning, and a half a teaspoon of dried parsley and a pinch of pepper. Bring it to a gentle boil while stirring. 
Then we can set it aside, put a lid on it, until it's time to drizzle over the top of our stuffed chicken breasts. Oh boy, the chicken is done. Let's lay some of that creamy sauce on there. Oh my, doesn't that look delicious. It's time to try it out. Well, that was another simple and delicious recipe. Don't forget I put one out every Monday. You can subscribe, look for the red subscribe button and you'll get notified every Monday when I put out a new video. I'd like to give a shout out to my friends and neighbors down at Maple Leaf Golf and Country Club in Port Charlotte, Florida. This recipe was part of our In the Kitchen with Pete cooking and eating event that was held down there. Well, I hope you enjoy it. I'm gonna enjoy it now. I'm gonna give it a whirl. It looks so moist and tender. Chickens cook perfectly. The sauce, oh, I can't wait. Oh. Wow. All those fresh herbs, the sun-dried tomatoes, and the basil and the garlic comes through. Bursting with flavors. You're gonna love it. Well, thanks for coming out and watching In the Kitchen with Pete. Until next time, see ya.